and good Sunday morning, everybody. Don here from Super Blast Pressure Washing's desk and office. As you can see, there's not much paperwork. Uh, this is paperwork here. The yellow highlighted things are things that have been taken care of so far. We have a lot of things crossed off, right? Well, that's for the motorcycle trip, folks. There's all kinds of stuff laying around in my office. Helmets, camera gears, gloves, side bags for the 650 Ninja, laptop bags. But today's subject is go and a little miniature GPS thing you can Velcro to any bike. Pretty cool, man. Uh, okay, today's subject is going to be this extension pole right here. See this beauty? Well, we're going to be looking at it out here because I have a swivel for it. And also we have a... Uh, we also have a hurricane probably coming in the Gulf uh, next week when I'm supposed to be working using this extension pole. So Tuesday's going to be hairy for me. I got to get the job done no matter what. Nike is coming into the uh, sports complex over here, so I got to get it done. Uh, even if it's just doing sidewalks, ducking in and out of uh, you know clouds all day, we're going to get the job done because that's what we do at Super Blast. And I can't let my guy down over there in Dade City. Let him down and not do the job. So we're going to get and get after it. We got big things coming, and uh, we got a vacation that we got to go on. Right now, we're testing. The, we're running the generator, make sure it runs right. And it's loud, so just hold on for a minute. And we got more gear here, piling up. This is all packed. All the gear I need for, you know, jackets, snowmobile suits, stuff like that. Here's the C400. Here's the Kawasaki Ninja 400, and this is the old 650 Versus. Getting excited. All right, let's shut this off. We'll be right back. Okay, now that we can hear ourselves think, I got the uh, DeWalt. Really nice unit. Same 8,500 watts. That's all you really need to uh, run. Your uh, air conditioner in your home and your refrigerators and stuff like that. So we'll have uh, plenty of power with this. I do have it hooked up to my electrical box. So all I got to do is plug this in to my circuit breaker. Electrical box on the side of the house. Turn the main off. This has its own breaker. So I flip that on. Then I just turn each individual thing on that I want to use. Which would be the AC first in the house. Then all the refrigerators, of course, and then the TV, and uh, so we can watch the weather and stuff. All right? Okay. Here, this this pole comes from Streamline. And they're out of Australia. It's a carbon fiber pole, as you can see. It's very heavy duty. And I requested that it come with the female socket to plug into and of course our standard tip at the end for changing uh, j-rods and whatever else you want to use okay i had a question asked the other day on how to uh run two machines at once how mine is plumbed so let's go ahead and go over that okay all right we'll start here at the buffer tank all my machines run out of the buffer tank into the filter out of the filter and then we tee off so water goes in both sides of the pump which you can see here this water's going in there and water's going in there okay then we come out of the pump right here with half inch line okay now that half inch line runs all the way over to this valve so this is machine B. Okay, now when I want to run two machines at once, in this one, let's go from over here. Here's the half inch line right here. It runs all the way over to that machine. And it also has a T. And water goes in from both sides of the pump and comes out the half inch line, which runs right to here. Okay. Now, 
the valve is open right now so the water goes this way so it's coming from the machine over there through here down in here and then it goes way down there see the gray hoses and this is just to show you how it works okay this is machine B which is the machine over here so when you want to use this 3 8 line you just run out of these loaders okay now if I want to use both machines I have these two half inch connections here and I have a jumper that's in the toolbox and I'll go ahead and show you how everything works excuse me just for a second while I get this out for you This is my jumper okay all I got to do is plug this in plug that in there plug this in here okay and then you come out of here I also have a 3 8 adapter that I can put on here that I can use that 3 8 line and when you do that you get 12 gallons a minute because you can only get 12 gallons a minute out of a 3 8 line when I want 16 gallons a minute I use the half inch pressure hose that's in this reel here and I use this setup to run the 49 inch Mondu okay so when you want to go to this setup you just push these valves down see now that one goes down and then you would do the same to the other now everything's going to come out of here from both machines all right now a lot of other guys do it they get the Siamese it's basically the same thing you run your machine and plug into you know just a little 3 8 little rinky dink Mickey Mouse setup that you can use but if you're serious about what you're doing and you're gonna use it you know I use it if it's a really bad driveway well this 31 inch Mondu and a 3 8 hookup gives me 12 gallons a minute for extra cleaning power so a lot of things you know you can do with this rig right here okay and when i want to do 16 gallons a minute and run the 49 inch that thing flies and you don't want to uh, have your handle because that restricts when you're doing that see i have this here so i just hook my half inch ball valve right to this it directly goes straight on through and it's it's half inch line all the way so there you have it and that's how it's done right now we're going to go ahead and get the uh, swivel out of the box and we're going to talk about the swivel and what it does but i want to get the pole fully extended and get some uh line hooked up here so we can test this pole out all right we'll be right back it's going to be interesting okay let's talk about what we got going on here there's the pole and i just come up with this uh, why not use the saw horse to you know to land it on and set it on okay Okay, here's the theory that I'm looking at here. Here's the swivel mechanism that I had got purchased. Okay, you see the angle of this? Okay, well I came out and I got a little bit a little bit more angle put on it. So I can adjust it here and lock it down. So let's go ahead and try it where we're at. Okay, and we're using the gold tip today, yellow tip. And uh, let's see if that gets us uh, some more balance is what I'm looking for. All right, we got, uh, got an eight gallon a minute. And we got our ball valve sitting right here. We'll plug right in. Let me see if we're uh, going to be looking even. It looks even. The swivel looks even with the gun, so that's what you're looking for. All right, and the idea of uh, what I'm doing today is to balance it so I can handle it better with this one hand. It's very light, so. All right, I'm anxious to try it. Let's get after it. And I'll get the tripod set up, and we'll see how it goes. All right, let's give it the old uh, first school try.
very good. Let's try it normal. Okay, just to show you that the swivel really made things drastic. Let's watch, check this out. This is that normal setting. Okay, that made it a lot easier to handle right there. That made it easier to handle. Nice. You can see it's just a slight difference. See how I got it ever so slightly off the track here? So I think maybe if I go just a hair more. Let's try a hair more. The, the first time I tried it, as you can see, it was drastic. It was wild and violent. Now it's pretty tame. A lot better. Let's try it one more time. Better yet, why don't we hop on board and go for a ride and take a view of the neighborhood. Let's rock and roll.
Is that amazing? That's an amazing tool. It's going to come in really handy over there at the uh, Wesley Chapel Sports Complex. Nike's coming in to uh, do some uh, uh, promotions and uh, check the place out. Maybe to have some events. All right, I'm Don from Super Blast Pressure Washing. I hope you enjoyed that presentation. Uh, it works great. So remember, get after it. All right, let's have one more look at my motor scooters uh, before you probably couldn't hear what I was saying. This is the uh, Kawasaki Z400, sister of this bike over here. This is the Ninja 400. These bikes only weigh 371 pounds. They are fantastic uh, on roads like Tail of the Dragon and stuff like that with a bunch of twisty turns. I mean, I don't go like a madman, but it's nice to have a bike that can whip, you know, in and out of the turns. This is my pride and joy right here. This is my 650 Versus. Has a wonderful GPS system on it. Tom Tom Rider. Works great. It's got heated grips. Uh, it's got a USB port right there for charging all your stuff. The thing's awesome. And it's got a cup holder as well. I think it's sitting right over here. Yeah, this thing here. Put a cup of nice hot coffee in there. Take off for the morning. Early in the morning. It's pretty chilly in the mountains. We'll be wearing a snowsuit in the morning. Changing into the other gear in the afternoon. Got hard bags for uh, each side, as you saw this morning in my office. This is the trunk bag that goes on the back. This has all my uh, snow suits and riding gear and boots and gloves and all kinds of stuff in there. But we're all ready to go. All I got to do is pack my normal clothes, get the trailer. Got this nice new tire on the back of this baby. It's all broke in now. It's ready to go. Got Kaufman exhaust. Uh, these match your bike. If you have a blue bike, you can get one with a blue tip. Look into it. And they're only $249 for exhaust. It's nice. Then I went ahead and ceramic coated all the pipes so it looks like a finished job. I did it on this one too. You always see a lot of guys, they'll switch out the exhaust and then you see this ugly, ratty looking pipe that has all the blue, you know, just from the heat, all the marks on it. It just looks bleh. You might as well finish the job, right? All right, well, I'm Don from Super Blast Pressure Washing, and I am ready for whatever happens. All right, you guys, we'll see you tomorrow, Monday. We got three jobs, three house washes, I believe, and then on Tuesday we have the uh, sports complex. I took two days, so I don't think it's going to take me two days. I think I can do it all in one day, and I got the very next day off just in case and then the following day we're booked solid for the next two days after that and uh we're getting ready to go on vacation that's all i'm thinking about right now and uh y'all have a great rest of your sunday afternoon i'm gonna help the missus around the house inside had a nice grill out cookout yesterday we went out to breakfast this morning it's been a good weekend all right y'all get after it all right, well, here I am getting ready to vacate Ameritech. And what do we do here at Ameritech? Get after, Get after it. it! Get after it! Hey, hey, hey! Huh. Pow! We're full SH and ready to rock! Let's get after it!